Hello. Hi, dear. Hello, John. No. You want to hop it here? Yes. Good. Uh, here. Uh, what's this all about, dear? Ah, uh, all be revealed. <laughs> It's not M-Way, is it? <laughs> no, it isn't, Barry. Thank you. Come on. Dear Blanche, it was a puzzled throng who assembled at Derek's place the other night, and our host, true to form, kept the confusion going for as long as possible. There are those who say that a 0-2% inflation regime is unsustainable. Oh, Derek. But I, on the other hand... Look, I've enjoyed the tea and scones, Derek Darcy, but I've got a staff meeting in the morning. Yes, indeed. Yeah. I, think yes, should... I suppose... You are wondering why I invited you here. No, Derek, I've got nothing better to do with my time. That may be true for you, Barry, but I'm sure Dennis, our vicar, has better things to do with his time. And, of course, Joan, our headmistress, is always on the job. And, uh, <laughs> Eddie... Eddie... Eddie Harperty. Hmm. But your people have been here since time immemorial, haven't they? I'm beginning to know the feeling. <laughs> Thank you, Barry. Derek, get on with it. Thank you, Dulcie. Oh, now, you do all know my wife, Dulcie. Yeah, don't you? Mm. He wants to start up a committee. Thank you again, Dulcie. I'll take over from here. What sort of committee? The Nettleton Millennium Grant Committee. What? Millennium, Barry. It means a thousand years. Now, as you know, I am on the committee and I'm in a happy position to say that we have received from the government a grant for the beautification of Nettleton. Oh! How much? I'm glad you asked that, Barry. The grant to all communities in the country is for $10,000. Ten thousand. Now, I have been asked by the committee to form a subcommittee to work out how these funds will be applied. And you people in this room, should you choose to serve, are that subcommittee. Uh, why us? Because we're representative. Uh, Joan here represents the cultural life of our community. Eddie... Eddie... Eddie, um... Eddie Harperty. <laughs> Thank you. Represents uh, those people who were here before us, to whom we owe so much. <laughs> yes, that's just the point. When are you going to pay up? <laughs> and, of course, Dennis, our vicar, represents our uh, higher side, spiritually. Yeah, and where do I fit in? <laughs> you, Barry, represent our lower side. <laughs> well, but please, Barry, no offence. <laughs> it's just that you represent uh, the common man, the ordinary bloke. And where would we be without him, hmm? Well, your drains wouldn't work to start with. I mean, precisely. So, here we are. A cross-section of our community. Now, how best can we symbolise the Nettleton we love? How do we best symbolise the Nettleton we love? That's what he said. What are you asking me for? Just asking. Thanks very much. What's wrong with you? Nothing. No, come on, come on. What's wrong? Well, it just seems that everyone was there except me. Oh, Ray, you wouldn't have wanted to be there. Anyway, like he said, I was there representing you. What, the common man? Yeah. Well, why couldn't I represent the common man? Well, I suppose because Derek must think I'm more common than you are. That'd be wrong. Eh? Nothing. It's just that I wouldn't have minded being asked. Well, I'm asking you now. Have you got any ideas? What for? For the beautification of Nettleton. Something to... Take us through to the 21st century. Well, you could paint your house for a start. No, Ray, a community project. Oh, bloody near was last time, wasn't it? <laughs> well, Ray reckons we should go for an ornamental hedge carved in the shape of a dollar sign. Oh, no. <sighs> well, with all respect to Raymond, I really think this windfall could be better spent on something of much greater benefit to the community rather than a hedge. The school needs a new library. But the Marae. Our meeting house needs a new entranceway. Yes, yes. Admirable projects. But I, I, I was thinking more of the church. We could really make a statement at St Bernard's. Well, you're already making a statement, aren't you? I'm sorry, Barry. I'm not with you. Well, you must have the only stained glass window in the Southern Hemisphere featuring our saviour wearing a swan dry. <laughs> it is not a swan dry. It is a toga majorum. A sort of loose-fitting garment favoured on the shores of Galilee. 
Well, it looks like a swan dry to me. Can I chip in? I don't think you can, my love, because uh, I think you don't have speaking rights at this meeting. Oh, be quiet, Derek. What I think we need is something for all of us. Something that says to the rest of the world, this is Nettleton. Mm. See, what I think Dulcie is trying to say is that what we need is something... We heard what Dulcie said, and I agree with her. Well, the only thing we've got to work out, then, is what? (laughs) Well, any ideas? Don't ask me. It's not my decision. What's wrong with him? Oh, he's still got the pricker because he's not on the committee. Well, we can't have everyone on the committee. That's what I told him. What did he say? Well, he said none of us lot seem to have an opinion. Well, what's his opinion? Well, he won't tell me because he's not on the committee. All right, I'll put him on the committee. No, I don't think he'd go on now, even if you begged him. <sighs> Ray, you've, you've probably heard about this committee. No, news to me. The Nettleton Millennium Grant Committee. Ah. Oh. That committee. Well, Ray, even though you're not on the committee through no fault of your own... No, no, no. We enormously value any input that you might care to share with us. <laughs> OK. When you think of New York, what do you think of? Well, I don't think we can get resource consent for an Empire State Building. <laughs> Who am I? Mike Tyson. No, a Statue of Liberty. Is this some sort of game? Think of Paris. What do you see? Hunchback of Notre Dame. Eiffel Tower. London. Big Ben. Pisa. Pie. <laughs> Leaning Tower. Oh, I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh, I see. A, a work of art, a landmark that tells us what we are. Hmm. You know, I reckon I can feel a statue coming on. <laughs> Ite po o te rāhina. Tau patu patu ai ngā me mato rangapu o te tai tukerau. What do you think is the key policy for Māori voters? I'm standing for the next generation. Poverty is crippling the development of the people of Tai Tukerau. And we're encouraging hauoras. Do you have faith in the current health system? No, nah, and neither does anybody in quite Tai Tukerau. Dead to the... Tohea te kupu. Rāhina i muri mai i te kaya i runga i awhakata Māori. Between 1891 and 1924, 49 people were exiled to Darcy Island, and once, a single man was left alone for 15 months. Though leprosy is crippling in its later stages, no one was left to care for the dying. There were no baths to wash in, and not even an outhouse was provided. Their only contact with the outside world was a supply ship to drop off food, clothing, opium, and coffins. Medical officers reported that conditions on the island were deplorable, yet for years nothing was done. Island of Shadows, 8.30 Tuesday on Māori Television. Siberia, the journey north, Tuesday at 9.30 on Māori Television. Well, I wouldn't mind a statue of Rangi, the Sky Father. Well, I'd love a statue of James K. Baxter or Janet Frame or even Morris Shadbolt. It, it doesn't have to be a statue. I mean, it could be a raised object like a sculpture. A rainbow trout leaping to snatch a fly. Or something in copper. A soul reaching toward redemption. A book. A fern. Oh, I think of the other parts of the country. I mean, there's a carrot. A kiwi fruit. Pioneer of the reef. Dinkiri te kanoa. Something that sums up Nettleton. Ten feet high. Twenty feet high. Yeah, right in the middle of the domain. It had put us on the map. A tourist attraction. Japanese honeymoon couples lining up to get their photos taken. <laughs> yeah, but you see... We've come full circle again. The problem is, what? Well, I believe the best thing to do would be for you all to go home and sleep on it. Very well. So we're adjourned. Oh, and uh, I move from the chair that Dulcie be given speaking rights, you know, retroactively, of course. (laughs) Oh, shut up, Derek. 
Seconded. <laughs> Derek? Derek? Oh, Derek, what are you doing? Oh, I'm building a treehouse. Why? Because I want one. Incidentally, what's wrong with Ray? Oh, he's got a real snitcher about this committee thing. Oh. Yeah, I've just been down to see him, you know, to tell him about the statue decision. What did he say? Yeah, he, he said, ooh, I suppose it's going to be a statue of Derek, is it? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Not at least until I'm much older. What? Well, dead. <laughs> And then it occurred to me there is a way to make things right. What do you mean, heal the wounds? Well, yeah. I mean, you've got to admit that Ray is very good with his hands. Yeah, well, he's taking more dings out of Dulcie's car than I've had hot dinners. <laughs> yeah, so why not put that gift to work? Well, why should I? I mean, I'm not good enough to be on the committee. Because you're an artist, Ray. I mean, Michelangelo, when he was painting the roof, well, he didn't ask to be Pope as well, did he? I don't know. Well, he didn't. And there is one other deeply artistic reason. What's that? It's 10,000 bucks up for grabs. <laughs> Could I put my name on it? Uh, yeah, I suppose you'd scratch it on somewhere. Or, yeah, but as the artist, yeah, yeah. Oh, you still haven't told me what it's supposed to be of. Yeah, there is that. I mean, you know, I need to do some research, make some drawings and that. Well, just hang fire on that for the moment. There's a committee meeting tonight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and as soon as they've made a decision, I'll get Derek to fax you through the specifications. I won't hold my breath. See you later, Michael. Hey. Angelo. Ciao. <laughs> well, yes, but, I, I mean, has he done anything like this before? Well, anything like what? We haven't decided what it is yet. But he's a panel beater, isn't he? Oh, a very good one. Yes. You see, here we have a chance to create a major artwork for Nettleton by a struggling artist from Nettleton. Yes, I go along with that. Oh, thank you, Eddie Har Yuri... Eddie Harperty. Look, why don't you just call me Elizabeth? Oh, what a lovely name. Um, do I take it we have a decision, then? Yes, I think so, Dulcie. I'll record that at 8.17pm. So, are we leaving the choice of subject to the artist? Oh, goodness, no, no, I, I think that has to be a decision of the committee. Right, uh, well, I think it should be something that signifies the uplifting of the spirit. The flight of the imagination. The journey of the people. A bird. Mm. What? A, a bird, you've got it all. You've got uplift, you've got flight, you've got journeys. Oh, I think that's a lovely idea. Yes, well, I, I, I'd go along with that, but, but what sort of bird? A pheasant. A swan. No, you can't shoot that. A dove. A chook. Oh, just hang on a minute, hang on. OK, I really think that out of respect for the indigenous fauna of these islands, that we should choose a native bird. I think that Iri Hopalong... <laughs> Elizabeth. Elizabeth has made a very good point. Now, but is there any bird that has a particular association with Nettleton? What about a kiwi? Nah, it's been done. Probably copyright. A waxy. Magpie. No, that's Australian. A tui. Or a bellbird. I still favour the kiwi. No, there were never any kiwi around this area. There were plenty of weka, yeah. up until the settlers came. In fact, I actually think this area was once called Ngahere Weka, Forest of the Weka. Oh, that's it then. I mean, there's no copyright on wekas, is there? And uh, they look a bit like a kiwi, don't they, Vicar? Oh, I suppose so. Oh, come on, they've got brown feathers, can't fly, the tourists will never know the difference. And they're such inquisitive birds, curious, inquiring minds. Well, I take it we have an agreement? Moved, yes. seconded, thank you, Vicar. I declare the motion carried. Ray will commence work immediately on a 20-foot bronze representation of a wecker. Here, here. Yeah. And I think we all deserve another drink. Oh, that's very kind of you, dear. Thank you, dear. <laughs> <laughs> The countdown is on for Kōwhiri 05. Election coverage that's a distinct alternative. Tāri at the 8 o'clock Saturday, 17th of September. I runga i a mā tātou i tēnei wiki, ka puta atu a maha tonu ki ngā triti, ka kite a ngā rōpū tōranga pū mō te wāwhaka mutunga i mua tonu i te pōti. I catch up with te hamua, talk about the 2005 Māori Expo at AUD, give you a little something something. Mā tātou, Sunday, 6.30. Which means there can only be one more lucky finalist.
congratulate you, baby, and I want to see you on here one day too. You are the one I want. You know, you can always be a model, eh, huh? What kind of life would that be? Breaking, I'm feeling a bit nervous at the moment. Just an old sweet song. Māori o kē rā tapu hei te iwa i runga i a whakāta Māori. Yeah, I got the facts from Derek yesterday. Picked up the metal and that this morning. No point in mucking around. And you, you know what they look like and everything? Yes. Yeah, I've done a bit of research, went to the library, got some books, did some drawings. Well, they cool. No, no! <coughs> Barry? No, not till it's finished. Work in progress. We wanted to peep. Well, Michelangelo didn't have the Pope staring down his bloody neck every 30 seconds, did he? Well, he couldn't have. He was 200 foot up in the air. Well, pretend I am. What's this going to be? Just, ow! It's one of its legs. Pretty long legs, you know. I suppose they would have. Well, I'll leave you to it then. Well, that's uh, how art's created, Barry. You, uh, you coming down to the pub tonight? Nope, not tonight. Too busy. Goodbye. It'll be a glittering occasion, Barry. One of the best parties Netherlands had for some time. Hmm? <laughs> what, the mayor, the council, that sort of thing? Federated farmers, you know, and the Ministry of Internal Affairs, brass band, you know, marching girls, the two TV crews. Oh, and Miss Nettleton. Oh, so you pulled out all the stops then? Well, there's been a lot of interest, you see. Apparently, Nettleton is the first community to actually complete its Millennium Project. We sort of set the trend. Yeah. Oh, Ray will be wrapped. Oh, so he should be. I would like to see what it looks like, though, you know, to help me with a speech. I mean, do you think you'd let us have a look at it? Oh, I'd leave it for a few days if I was you. You know, give Ray time to sort of settle down. <laughs> Jeez, it's magnificent. Ray has done us proud. Hang on, you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> yeah, but I can sense it, you know, just like the sculptor can sense the statue within the marble. What? Hey, Ray. Ray! What? Oh, we just thought we'd come down and see how you're getting on. I'm getting on just fine. It's monumental, Ray. Thanks. Oh, well, it would be if, if we could see it. You want me to finish this by Saturday or not? Are you behind schedule, Ray? Well, I'd be ahead of schedule if I wasn't interrupted all the time. Well, it's just that as your patron... Uh, patrons? Well, well, patrons, you know, we're naturally excited about the work. Why don't we just have a little peek at it? No. It just doesn't make sense. Not until it's finished. Artistic temperament. One thing, though, Ray, why are you doing it outside and not in the workshop? How would I get it out of the workshop, Derek? Oh, yeah. He's gone a bit strange, isn't he? Yeah. Mind you, they used to steer well clear of Michelangelo on a bad day, so I'm told. Oh, Barry, Ray is hardly painting the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel on his back. Yeah, just as well. Why? Oh, I'd probably wash off in the shower. <laughs> well? Oh, it's... It's very nice. Uh, you wore that uh, at uh, Nairi's wedding, didn't you? Derek, it's new. I bought it for the unveiling. Oh, well, uh, your splendour will be second only to that of the statue, my love. I'm hardly 20 feet high. What's it like? Well, as I said, it's very nice. Oh, no, 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 not the outfit. The statue. Oh, I haven't seen it. No, Ray won't let us look at it, not at least until tomorrow. It's a bit risky, isn't it? Well, we, we have to trust the artist, Dulcie. I mean, besides, he's looked at lots of books. He says it's a stylized representation. Get yeah, down a bit, down a bit, down a bit. Yeah, lower, lower, lower. Yeah, that's it. Is it sitting right? Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what it looks like. It could be upside down for all I know. For heaven's sake. Yep. She's right. Oh, oh it's a she, is it? <laughs> you know, something I never thought about. <laughs> all right. Oh, what? Glennis made it. OK, come on. 
and in the future, the Millennium Committee and its work of art will be seen in the same light as Eiffel and his tower, and Albert and his hall. Derek, that's the fourth time you've rehearsed that. Well, I've got to get it right for the Minister of Internal Affairs. And remember, he'll be hearing it only for the first time. Lucky man. <laughs> right, left a bit, left a bit. Uh, no, 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 right a bit, right a bit. Uh, right, left hand down. Which hand? Uh, my right, your left. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Back, 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 back. Whoa! Yep, oh, she'll be right. Just ease her down. Yeah, ease her down there. Do you think, my love, in, in years to come, people will look upon this edifice, the statue, and say, Derek Armitage was responsible for that? I'm sure they will, my love. Mm. Leaving something behind, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Do you know, my love? Yes. You are very much a part of this. Thank you. Because I moved your retroactive speaking rights. Remember? Oh, Derek. <laughs> yep. Solid as a rock. Ugh. You reckon it'll be all right here you know, overnight? Oh, yeah, they've got security in there. Yeah. It won't sort of shift or move or anything like that. Oh, hardly. Weighs nearly two tons. Why do you think they had a crane? Yes. Oh, anyway, you'd have a bit of an uphill battle trying to flog that off at a second-hand dealer, eh? <laughs> Why? You haven't even seen it. It was a joke, Ray. A joke? <laughs> Come on, I reckon we've earned a beer. What reckon I have? <laughs> Up the steps you go, that's right. This is our, our mayor, the minister, do? and the committee here. And of course, you uh, have a cup of tea. Uh, Madam Mayor, would you like to commence proceedings? Good. Mm. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen boys, boys and, and girls, girls, it is, is my, my pleasure, pleasure and privilege to introduce the Minister of Internal, Internal Affairs, the, the Honourable Winston, Winston Bannister. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Good people of Nettleton, Tanakoto, 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 Kato. I won't be saying much to you this morning. I think you've all heard enough from politicians lately. <laughs> uh, and I know, I believe, you're about to hear very many more words from Mr. Derek Armitage. Chairman of your Millennium Grants Committee. Thank you. And, 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 thank you. and so, without further ado, let's take a look at Nettleton's contribution, nay, its gift to the new century. <clears throat> See? Oh, no! It's a good one. 
Eh? I went to the library and everything, all drawings. Look, surely you must have known there was a mistake. Oh, I would have done if I'd been on the bloody committee. Oh. No, Ray. But I wasn't on that committee, was I? Ray, no, I was not Ray, no, I not you. Don't you dare what me. I spent hours doing that. So, there it was, Blanche. Derek and Ray haven't been speaking to each other for quite some time. And there are those who reckon that Ray didn't check back with the committee on purpose. But we'll probably never get to the bottom of that one. The funny thing is, I drove past the other day and there was a Japanese honeymoon couple being photographed right in front of the edifice. You just never know with art, do you? Your mates, Barry, Ray, and sort of Derek. When the walls come tumbling down on you And the ground shakes beneath your shoes And everything you touch turns to dust you got nothing left to lose Look on the bright side When you're so far down The only way to go is up Remember every crowd has a silver lining If you don't stuff it up Gotta look on the bright side Letter to Blanche is an Eisenbard production 